Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would pop on quickly and show you a way of making a junk journal really quickly. So without having to use needle and thread and staples, I use these gorgeous clips that just make life so easy. I got this idea off Suze Fish, who is one of my favorite YouTube channels to watch. She does a lot of journaling with these things. And look, they're really easy. You just open them up and pop your pages in. Now, this one here, I found out about Junk Journal July on Tuesday, and I had a sneaky day off on Wednesday. So I decided to quickly make a journal, knowing I wouldn't have a lot of spare time, so that I'm ready to go tomorrow. So I always start off with some pretty cardstock because it's a little bit thicker. This one has gorgeous rose gold foiling, so I grab that with a few thickers for Junk Journal July. And when I make these, I laminate sparkly things. Actually, I don't know if you can see that. Inside laminating sheets. And I just chop them up and they make a really great protective cover. So you can use anything in a junk journal, but I like to make things simple and I like my main pages to be quite light and bright. So what I did, I started off with one 30 centimeter by 30 centimeter mixed media paper that I had left over and I simply cut it into four and decided, okay, that's the size we're doing. Let's keep things easy. I did print out the prompts and what I'll do is I'll list the details down below so that if you want to come and join along, look, some of these prompts are really fun. Easy things like use a tag, very vintage, favorite color, florals. I love all those sort of things. They're not complicated. They'll be easy to do, which means it makes it easier to keep up with this uh, project. So as I said, decided to just cut my piece of paper into four and that was my size that I was making my journal in. Now I have a collection of papers that I've played with, with paint and stencils and things. So I chopped a few of those up and popped them in. This one's a Sephora gift bag, uh, like, you know, when you go shopping bag. And I just gently undid the bottom, cut away all the bottom stuff and re-glued it back together. Again, a little bit of watercolor that I was playing with one day. I've popped in this little sealable pocket so that I can do a shaker pocket because I like using shaker pockets. So we'll probably make one of those. So again, just the mixed media cardstock. Again, painted pieces. This is an envelope. I just sort of trimmed a tiny bit off, but the flap is still usable and popped some holes in it. I've also got, this is a sheet from an old Daphne's diary that I tore apart a while ago. Again, a little bit more watercolor play, nice different colors, more mixed media paper, more watercolors. <laughs> Another piece from Daphne's diary that I thought was really cute, again, little bit of watercolor play. I've got a sheet here from a vintage botanical book that I purchased at a fair one day. Popped some of that in. Some more cardstock. And then the back cover. And that's it, it is that simple. If you've got any form of paper, scraps, cardstock, just pick a size. Grab some of these from your newsagent or your cheap shop, and guess what? In the sake of a few minutes, your junk journal is ready to go. And the beauty of these clips is you can add papers easily. You can take them away. If you mess up a page, throw it in the bin. If you want to change the order of your pages, you just simply open it up and change them around. And it doesn't matter how thick your junk journal gets as you're playing in it. With the, this size ring, honestly, this guy can get really fat and it won't be a problem. So, hope you'll come along and join us. I'll put all the details of the ladies that are hosting this challenge in the description box below. And come along and have a play. I think it's going to be great fun. 
So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. I would really appreciate that. And if you want some more quick and easy craft tutorials, please hit the subscribe button. Plenty more of these to come in the future. Until next time, take care.